Hey fellow pilots, it's Angry Turtle and today I have for you all the best weapons, all the S tier weapons that you can equip your ship with, if it's ship class A or if it's ship class C, so the big one, I have you covered. I will tell you where to go, where to get the gear and how to ramp up your firepower. I did a lot of calculations, I put numbers into the spreadsheets as well as I tested those turrets on the battlefield. So, now, what's the best place to go for your weapons? And after a lot of testing, it happened to be Neon. And you go into the Neon itself, not the Neon core, because that's the landing pad. Just in case, if you are relatively new, you don't know where the Neon is, so Alpha Centauri Sol in here, Neon here, Volley System. Volley System, that's where Neon is, on planet Volley Alpha. From the landing spot, turn left and you will see the ship services. And there are two reasons for choosing this particular it's vendor, not only the weapon choices, he has one hey, more item that is very important. So let's choose modify okay. our ships. Open the ship builder, pressing B. Elements add. And the reason I'm choosing this particular vendor, it does have two different weapon mounts. Horizon, vertical weapon mount and standard flat equipment plate. Rarely any weapon has equipment plate, so that's why I'm choosing this particular lo location. And uh, equipment plates are very important if you want to equip your ship with turrets, as turrets operate the best if they have a lot of space around and flat mount. So, now the weapons. Class A first. Unfortunately, all regular standard weapons like cannons and lasers are like class C weapons. Those are not good in the sense of ranking, not the ship. So that's something you don't really want to have on your ship. Suppressor stuff, this is only useful if you want to disable a weak ship. So if you struggle and you kill the ship instead of disabling its engines, and you want to disable engines to board the ship, that can be a reason to equip one or two suppressors on your ship. Other than that, there is no reason for this weapon. Then a decent option are usually missile launchers, but yeah, those are still not the best. Even though the range is showing 4,000, to actually hit a target, you need to have a target lock. So you need to be very close. Target can dodge a missile. So actual, DPS will be way lower than calculated from purely from numbers. If you can hit every single missile, the missile launchers are extremely powerful. Downside to them, they absolutely cannot be used to target particular systems. They always damage entire ship. So if you equip your ship mostly with missile launchers, that will be a struggle. So finally, the highest S tier weapons. What is the most powerful weapon for A class ship? So, absolute number one is Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector. The reason for that is max power required two, which means you can equip six of those turrets per slot, achieving a total DPS of 439 which is a second highest DPS available from high range weapons as all the auto projector type weapons, the beam weapons have 3k range, which is a really good range. There are weapons with higher range, but not much higher. Well, maxing out at 3,500, if not going for missile launcher that will still miss with this distance. So this is effectively better range than missile launcher has. Now, if you are relatively low level, you will probably not have that yet. And additional requirement to unlock all Vanguard weapons are joining Vanguard. It's not difficult. You just need to join Vanguard. The first planet you ever go, Alpha Centauri, the same one with the Lodge, has Vanguard HQ. So you just go there and join Vanguard to unlock Vanguard class weapons. 
So this is absolutely the most powerful for A class. If you don't have that yet, you are looking for any auto beam weapons like PB030. If you are lower level, you are looking for something like that. Why I'm not recommending regular PB30 electron beam and so on is that advantage comes to auto weapons. Auto weapons can unload a full burst of damage, then they need to reload. So effectively, you can unlock a full burst of damage even with one bar of power allocated to the weapon, while with typical electro beam, allocating less power is reducing this fire rate. So you will not get a full DPS. That's the reason. You always look for auto. Auto is S tier. Generally, for the weapon class, auto beam weapon S tier. So Vanguard it first, then you can ask, okay, what's the second and third slot for A class for maximum DPS? The second one, you scroll a little bit lower, it's Vaporizer 35 Auto Proton Beam. This is a high power weapon, so with those you will only be able to equip three. But the fire rate is great and damage is great, so that's a second slot for your ship if your ship is class A. Then the third slot, it's PB050 Auto Proton Beam. If you equip all those three, you will have the most powerful A-class fighter with all those three weapons. Although those do unlock when you level up. So if you are lower level, you will not have all of them. For lower level players, my recommendation stays, equip whatever beam, auto beam weapon you have available and cover other slots with missile launchers as those are the second best after the beam weapons. Now, if you have a C-class ship, what will be the most powerful setup to equip on it? And surprisingly, if you want the highest possible damage for your C-class ship, there will be no C-class weapon. I know it doesn't make much sense, but B-class outperforms. So absolute number one is PBO 175 Auto Helion Beam. This is the highest DPS of all the weapons across all the class, and this is class B. So that will be the first slot. The second slot will go back to class A, just because the Vanguard Obliterator is so good. So second slot will be still taken by Vanguard, purely because you can have so many of those. Six per slot, so that will be the second weapon. And then the third weapon, we are going back to class B, and that's Exterminator 95 Auto Helion Beam. This is the third slot, and as it comes, first, second and third slot DPS is as follow. The first slot, 456, the second slot, 439, and the third slot, 390 DPS. And that's not everything yet. We didn't cover the highest range weapons and thirds. So those weapons are already good range, 3,250. Now the thirds, the thirds are only available at class B and C. If you want to purely equip your ship with the best turrets, your choices are the most powerful turret for many reasons. Obliterator 250 Alpha Turret. Incredibly good DPS, 387, and in practical testing, very low power requirement to make this turret fire effectively. At around 30% power, it's already putting a full DPS, no problem. The second slot for the full turret power will be PBO 300 Auto Alpha Turret. Again, Incredibly powerful, a little bit more power requirement than Obliterator if you want to keep the full DPS out of this turret, mainly because of higher fire rate. Surprisingly, the low fire rate on turrets is good. It reduces the power requirement and still hit hard, just less often. This one hits more often, but less hard. In total, they have very similar DPS, but this one requires more power. And I don't know if that's plus or minus in practice, but max power is free, which means you will place four of those turrets per ship, 
when Obliterator you only plays free. In my opinion, in case of turrets, because they need so much space, I prefer when there is less of them and they are more powerful. And to get the third spot for the best turret, we'll need to change the system because those weapons are not available here. So now we travel. So we are going back to Alpha Centauri system, to our favorite planet, Jemison, with this beautiful big city. But now when you are choosing a destination, as there is a lot, pay attention to choose the one that do not have any other description. It just says New Atlantis. That's where we want to land. That's where the ship technician is. So land. And there is technician straight almost in front when we spawn from Anything the fast travel. And here's a new Let's see the parts and modify. Up. And here we have Disruptor. 3348 Auto Alpha Turret. This is one of my favorite turrets, mainly because of the range, 3,500. So if you have those turrets, then engage targets first. Max power of three, so we need four of those, and fire rate of four, so they do require a decent amount of power allocated, but you don't need to allocate 100%. Around 50% power makes them fire super efficiently. I do really like them. They they are not the first or second spot DPS wise, but they are third. The DPS is almost the same as PBO 100 auto turret from class B turrets, but I do strongly recommend this one with about the same DPS. In practice, in space combat, I feel like Horizon turrets are putting more actual damage. I know it may sound like it doesn't make sense, but sometimes the performance in combat seems to be slightly different than calculated on the spreadsheet. So this is a turret spot for the turret, for turret lovers. Now, for the high range weapons, the best weapons, if you want maximum range, are the disruptors from Horizon. Unfortunately, the DPS is lower than counterparts with a little bit less range. But all those weapons you can purchase in here, they always look the same. You'd still look for Auto Beam weapons. Auto Beam from Disruptor Horizon brand. Very good for distance, the highest possible, 3500. As well, if you are lower level, those turrets will be unlocking together with your other targets. So you just visit more than one vendor. You visit this vendor at Alpha Centauri and visit a vendor at Neon and equip whatever is unlocked for you. As there are disruptors, auto electron beams, 3300A, A class, unlocking relatively early in the game. So you'll be able to put your hand on those. And when you install those early, this is a powerhouse. And this range, you can kill enemies before they can kill you. So this is my list of more powerful weapons. Let me know if you have any questions and maybe just I will present at the end how much power it actually is. I have this ship equipped with all three the most powerful turrets. This is class C ship. So let me fire at whatever random ship I can stumble across. So I will just fire at random ships around. The only requirement you need to press all three buttons, but you can see the melting power. The melting power is insane when you stop firing, those turrets are reloading. Then you can fire at another ship. However tanky the ship is, it will get melted. As long as it's in range, it will get melted. After you fire all the weapons, if you have only 50% power allocated, if you cannot afford full, you will need to wait a little bit longer than if you can afford more power. But even if you don't have any power to allocate, let me show you, even if you have just one power allocated, as you can see, I still have all the ammo, so I can still unload a full burst without any more power allocated. The only difference will be, it will take time for those turrets to reload. But look at that, there is level 32 security phalanx, and look at that damage output. Look at that damage output. 
that's what wins you a space battles the ability to unload insanely powerful burst and that's the only downside if you don't have power if i have just one power bar i will need to be running away for a while to recharge of course i do have all the power here that's my testing save so i gave myself everything that endgame provides and that being said thank you a lot for watching i hope you will rock the galaxy and see you in the next one.